what's up bench bags it's your girl blake and i'm back with another video hey and today guys i'm going to do a reaction video of keith lee's food review of hong kong and southeast dc okay so without further ado make sure you guys like comment subscribe and let's get to it in this bag is from a place that we was threatened that if we didn't go here, we didn't eat no food in DC. So I got it. Let's try it and rate it one to ten. We spent eleven dollars and ninety five cents. The customer service. Mama sauce and chicken. Yeah, mama sauce. Eleven ninety five. Perfect. Thank you. It's hood. We out here. We outside for real. It was extremely quick. It took three minutes. We ordered exactly how people told us to. Five wings. Salt. Pepper, fry hard, right, mama sauce, sauce on everything. everything. I'm gonna show you that guy. I'm gonna try it and read it one to ten. I forgot to mention, this is what they call curry out. I'm saying it right? Curry out. Curry out. They curry, out. Yeah. curry out. Yeah. Curry out. Yeah. So we got curry out. Wings, salt, pepper, mumble sauce, and fried rice. This is the rice by itself. It's just rice. Man, I ain't had that in years. That's nostalgic almost. Mm -hmm. Being from Detroit, this is exactly what we ate as a kid. Mm -hmm. fried rice. Seven point six out of ten. This is the mumble sauce covered wing. When I say covered, and it's hot too. Now I've never had mumbo sauce before, but I've heard about it my whole life. He turned that chicken bone out. Drama. It tastes like old school sweet and sour sauce from McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it tastes like sweet and sour sauce from McDonald's. Is that brown sweet and sour sauce? Yeah. Yeah, it tastes like sweet and sour sauce from McDonald's mixed with a little bit of ketchup. I thought it was gonna be like more like a mild sauce from Chicago. This ain't nothing like mild sauce. Mm -mm, it's like almost like a like a sweet and sour duck sauce. Eight point six out of ten. Yeah, you know, especially if you went hood, eleven dollars, twelve dollars, gonna get you a full meal. Yeah, I get it. Hello. 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 Yes, I've definitely been to Hong Kong and Southeast. I think I've been. I think I've been there with my sister. But I know I definitely have been there. Because that's the only other person I could think of. I don't think I've been there with my husband. Yeah. But I just think it's so nostalgic, even though, you know, I don't eat wings and stuff. But that's how I used to order my wings. Fry hard. Okay. Give me a half a half, period. Salt, pepper, ketchup on my fries. <laughs> Uh, we gotta make sure you get the right thing, man. So you can say, because this, this is a real good curry out, man. We have wings, salt, pepper, with extra salt. And another thing, our, um, I used to get my mumble sauce on the side, though. I didn't have, I don't like, I didn't lie. I used to like my meat drenched and stuff. Like, I like to dip it myself. But yeah, let's carry on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everything. That moves on so tight. I already know. I already. Hey, everybody, food in line. And why? Come and coming. The rest of the day. The rest of the day. Period. You gonna pay for everybody food. <laughs> <laughs> All the future customers. Yeah. For every no. For, for, for. Excuse me. Food in his bag is from a place that the food in his bag. I know that's right. So Keith Lee is a food. For those of you that don't know, Keith Lee is a food reviewer. He used to be a UFC fighter, which is interesting fact. And he just started building his niche as a food reviewer. And because he has so many views on TikTok, his reviews actually affected the businesses, um, in positive ways, I believe. Um, I don't know. Comment down below if you guys know of any of his reviews having a negative effect on a restaurant probably does because you're not gonna like everything and he I, he rates pretty tough so i don't know and it also i've never heard him say he's rating something a 10 so also let me know down in the comments below if he's rated who he's rated a 10 but um he went to like three restaurants one was in dc um, I forget what it was called. One was in Falls Church and like one was a food truck. One was in Arlington, I think. I don't know. But he 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 rated about four restaurants in the DMV area. So that was cool. So shout out to Keith Lee. Um, and you guys should check out his TikTok because he goes around to different cities and whatever that city is, met, you know, like known for or whoever 
if they get a whole bunch of votes for a certain restaurant, they'll just go visit it. So that was cool. He didn't do he didn't do us too dirty, I don't think. Oh, wait a minute. There was some type of now I gotta look it up. There was some type of controversy. Oh, now that I think about it, okay. Was it that he gave no it, he gave so you saw at the end of this video where he gave Hong Kong owner um he said that all of the people for the rest of the day that come in, you know, we're gonna pay for them. And they made sure of it because they had to make sure and they put a note on their video because this happened before where he gave an owner, a small business owner, some money um, in appreciation of whatever. And she was supposed to, he wanted her to distribute it amongst her employees, I think. And she didn't. And like... It was this whole big thing. And so let me look it up. I think I'm pretty. Keith Lee. Um, contra let me look up controversy. Because I, I don't want to type all that. Yeah, he was in MMA. MMA. I don't know if that's different from UFC. But MMA. He was an MMA fighter. But, oh, this is what he also said about DC. He said, um, here's a... <laughs> A headline from the Washington Post. TikTok's Keith Lee calls DC dining too boozy. I don't know. I'm not on the scene, honey. The money, the, the Keith Lee money controversy. I guess he has multiple controversial things. Um... TikToker claims Keith Lee scammed him. Oh, here it go. It was a food truck owner. She was, yeah. Keith Lee gave this food truck 4800 and she didn't give it to the people he asked her to. Another one. Restaurant mistakenly receives backlash after Keith Lee's North Texas visit. So there was a mistaken backlash. No, we're pups and dups, not dups and pups. And I, yeah, it was Texas, so that's why I had the country accent, y'all. Y'all, yeehaw. Te oh, Keith Lee responds to Texas food truck over $4,000 tip dispute. That was that 4800 that they were talking about. So, yeah, she... TikTok food truck owner ruins her career after stealing money. Oh my goodness. Keith Lee gifts struggling Dallas food truck 4000 to pay it forward. To pay it forward! It's called Sweetly Seasoned. And that's the lady. I remember her face. Look at her face. Hold on. You can just tell when people act ugly. Y'all see her? And that's Keith Lee. That's both of them. But yeah. All right, guys. Anyways, I wanted to hurry up and do this review because I just saw it on social media. I was like, I'm going to react to that. So thank you guys for watching my reaction of the Keith Lee review. Let me know what you think. Are you from the DMV? Let us know down in the comments below. And I'll see you in another video.